In this video, I will show you how to write a system of equations to match a real world problem. And then I will show you how to set up a matrix equation and solve the system using matrices on a graphing calculator. So, let's read through, through the problem real quick. Tickets for a concert cost $24 if purchased in advance and $32 if purchased at the door. 465 people attended for a total of $12,304. Write a system of equations that will help you find the number of people who purchased tickets in advance and the number of people who purchased tickets um, at the door. Then solve your system of equations using inverses. Okay, this is going to be a relatively straightforward system of equations because it seems like there's only two equations that we have to do. So the first thing I like to do is uh, focus on the sentence that asks the question. Okay, write a system of equations that, that would help you find the number of people who purchased tickets in advance and the number who purchased tickets at the door. That sentence tells me what the variables need to be. I need a variable for the number of people who purchased tickets in advance and a variable for the number of people who purchased tickets at the door. Okay, so here we go. We will let X represent um, the number of tickets in advance. And we will let Y be the number of tickets at the door. Okay, so it's very common to have a quantity equation, quantity, and it's very common to have a money equation. So I think those are the two types of equations we're going to have right now. So first, the quantity equation. We only have two different types of tickets. So if I start off by writing x plus y, all right, that's the total sum of the, that's the total number of tickets. Now, do, we, do they tell us the total number of tickets? Sure, they said 465 people attended. So that's the total number of tickets. So x plus y should equal 465. Now the money equation. Well, tickets purchased in advance are $24. So, if x is the number of tickets in advance, if I multiply that by 24, that'll be the amount of money that we get from tickets purchased in advance. $32 for every ticket purchased at the door. So, if I multiply $32 times the number of tickets purchased at the door, that should be the total amount of money that we get from that type of ticket. So, the amount of money that comes from tickets in advance plus the amount of money that comes from tickets out the door, that should equal the total amount of money. Uh, and they told us that the total amount of money was $12,304. So here, here's the 12304 So there it is, guys. There's your system of equations. Now I need to show you how to um, write this in matrix form and solve it. It's going to be a little bit extra easy because we're allowed to use a graphing calculator. All right, You should be able to do this by hand, but we're not going to do that for this particular problem. Um, so looking at the coefficients, and uh, I'm, I'm looking at this invisible one in front of the x and the y. So that means I can write a coefficient matrix by having 1, 1, 24, 32. All right, those are the coefficients of the left-hand side. Uh, I also will now multiply that by a variable matrix. The two variables are x and y. 
And that should equal the answer matrix over here, which I will make out of 465 and 1,000, uh, sorry, 12,304. Now we need to label these matrices, guys. Um, let's call this matrix A. Okay, so this will be matrix A. I'm going to call this variable matrix matrix X, and we'll call this matrix B. So what we have then, in terms of these new uh, variables that I just made up, matrix A times matrix X is equal to matrix B. Now if I want to solve this matrix equation, that really means getting matrix X by itself. Well, we know that matrix X will equal A inverse times matrix B. All right, all of this has to be written down. Even though I'm going to use a graphing calculator, everything I'm showing uh, is something that you have to show. Okay, um, but that's kind of the end of what you have to show because the rest is going to be done in the calculator. All right, so we need to see what this equals. Um, so we just need to type matrix A and matrix B in the calculator. So uh, let's go to the matrix area by hitting second matrix. Let's switch to the edit menu and we'll edit matrix A. Matrix A is a two by two matrix. So it's one, one, 24, 32. So one, one, 24, 32. All right, let's quit our way out of that by hitting second mode. Let's go back to the matrix area and edit again. This time we will edit matrix B by hitting the number two. Uh, matrix B is a two by one matrix, two rows, one column. So I'm gonna make this a two by one matrix. So I have 465, 465, and I have 12,304. 12,304. And that's matrix B, quit your way out, second mode. All right, so we just got through saying matrix X will equal A inverse times B. So I just need to get this on my calculator screen, A inverse times B. So to do A inverse, I go to the matrix area, I choose matrix A, to make it A inverse, I hit this button. Boom, now it's A inverse. Now I want matrix B right next to it, so I go back to the matrix area. I'm gonna hit the number two for matrix B. So that's A inverse B. So this is the solution, 322, 143. Okay, so matrix X equals all of this. So that means, uh, I don't really need an equal sign right here. Remembering that matrix X is X and Y, this tells me that X is equal to 322 and Y is equal to 143. Now, before we call ourselves finished, we need to go back to words. We were supposed to find the number of people who purchased tickets in advance and the number of people who purchased tickets out the door. We came up with these variables X and Y, but instead of just putting a box around this and saying X equals this, Y equals that, let's go back and, and talk about the number of people who purchased each kind of ticket. So here's how you write the final answer. 322 people purchased tickets in advance and 143 people purchased tickets out the door. If you just leave it as X and Y, you're not gonna get full credit. Let's do one more problem. A gift shop sells three beach packages. Hmm, I see three equations coming. Package A, uh, that includes two towels one tube of sunscreen and one 
beach chair cost $21. Package B, that includes three towels and two beach chairs, costs $31. Package C, that includes one tube of sunscreen and two beach chairs. Okay, we got towels, sunscreen, and chairs. Okay. Um, anyway, cost $19. Find the cost of each package item. All right, find the cost of each package item. Set up a system of equation uh, to solve and solve using matrices. Show all work for the setup. Okay, so here is the key sentence that I want you to focus on. It says, find the cost of each package item. Okay, so when they say package item, they're talking about towels, sunscreen, and beach chairs. Okay, so we're going to need variables for each one of these things. So let's let X represent um, the cost of a towel. All right, X is the cost of a towel. Let's let y equal the cost of one tube of sunscreen. All right, tube of sunscreen. And let's let z equal the cost of a chair. All right, so we have the cost of a towel, the cost of a tube of sunscreen, and the cost of a chair. Okay, so I think we're just going to have an equation for each package. All right, so um, we're going to have an equation for package A. Package A. We'll have an equation for package B. And we'll have an equation for package C. OK, so here we go. Um, package A has uh, two towels. So if x is the cost of a towel, then um, the total cost of the towels will be um, 2 times whatever x is. All right? So 2 towels times the cost of each towel. Is that all right? That's the amount of money that uh, we're spending on towels. And then it also has one tube of sunscreen. All right? So the cost of sunscreen will then just be plus y, OK, for one tube of sunscreen. It has one beach chair. So that's going to be plus z, all right, the cost of a beach chair. All right, now, the total cost of that package is $21. So that should all add up to $21. So now let's analyze package B. We have three towels. So that's going to be three times the cost of a single towel. OK, uh, we have two beach chairs. Whoa, I didn't hear, hear anything about sunscreen. So there won't be any Y value, all right? We're skipping over sunscreen and we're going straight to uh, we're going straight to two chairs. So I'm gonna come over here and put two Z because that's chairs. Now the total cost of the package is thirty-one dollars. Okay. Now then there's package C that has one tube of sunscreen. All right, I'm not hearing anything about towels. There's just one tube of sunscreen. Okay, so I'm going to have a Y, all right, one Y to represent the sunscreen, and two beach chairs. So that's going to be plus 2Z to represent those beach chairs. And the total cost there is $19. So this is it. This is the system of equations. So to be clear, the second package has no sunscreen, so that would be like zero Y. The third package has no towels in it, 
Um, so that would be like 0x. So just watch out for that. So we can go ahead and represent uh, this system of equations in matrix form by doing this. Um, look at the coefficients. We will have 2, 1, 1. That's the first equation. And then we will have 3, 0, 2 for the, from the second equation. And then we will have 0, 1, 2 for the third equation. All right, so this is the coefficient matrix. And then next comes the variable matrix, which is x, y, z. All right, the variable matrix. And this should equal the answer matrix over here. All right, the total cost matrix in this case, 21, 31, 19. Now, let's go ahead and label these matrices. Um, let's call this first matrix, we'll call it matrix A. And then the variable matrix, I like to call it matrix X. And then this total cost matrix, I will call this matrix B. Then what we see now is that um, mat we have matrix A times matrix X, and that equals matrix B. So we know then that um, if I want to get x by itself, and I do, that should equal A inverse times matrix B. So that's our job, is to find that out. OK, so we can do that very easily by typing matrix A and matrix B into our calculators. So let's go to the matrix area. Let's go over to edit, and let's edit matrix A. Uh, this is a three by three matrix, and we have two, one, one for the first row. So two, one, one. And then three, oh, two. So three, oh, two. And then zero, one, two. Zero, one, two. Always quit your way out of a matrix, second mode. So now let's edit matrix B. So second matrix, switch over to edit. We'll choose two for B. And uh, this is a three by one matrix. So three by one. And we have 21, 31, 19. 21, 31, 19. Again, we will quit our way out of this matrix. So we already decided that what we need is A inverse B. So let's get that going on. So second matrix, we'll choose matrix A. We'll hit the little negative one power. Now it's A inverse. Now we just need B. I'll hit two for B. So here it is, A inverse B. This should give me the answer. Kabam, five, three, eight. So that means that this equals 5, 3, and 8, which means that um, x is equal to 5, y is equal to 3, and z is equal to 8. Now, I cannot stop there. If it's a word problem, and, and I define these variables, I can't just find the variables and stop. I need to go all the way back to words for my final answer. So there's your final answer. A towel costs $5, a tube of sunscreen costs $3, and a beach chair costs $8. For full credit, you have to go all the way back to words. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this video. Go ahead and click here in the red apple to watch the next video. Click in the green apple to subscribe. Or click the yellow apple for the full playlist.